I had a question for you. What would be the fastest speed limit? So if you got to set an ideal speed limit when you're on the highway, what would be that speed limit? Would you be nuts and go to a hundred? Would you, are you conservative? Do you like the 70? What, what, what is your take on that? So the fastest highway in the United States is, I believe, highway, I'm not I don't know on the, the name. Number. It's 85 miles an hour in Texas. I know that. I don't know the yes. name of it, though. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not positive on the number, but that is the fastest highway in um in the United States. The fastest highway in the world has no speed limit. I believe that's somewhere. Um, I've heard that. Yeah. I'm I think not there's positive one in Germany. Where that is. It's not yeah. a big highway, but like you just got to stay on the proper lane or something like that. I heard that. Yeah. Yeah. But I also believe it has no speed limit. Um, as for the fastest speed limit on high on like major highways, yes. I kind of like the 75 to 80 range. Um, you know, on back road highways, you know, maybe you can go a little faster, you know, depending on how, depending on how, you know, straight the highways are and depending on, you know, if you can keep up with, uh, if you can keep up with the flow of traffic, you know? Right. Yeah. No, I got to agree with you. I'm going to go with 80 for a few reasons. I'm going to go 80. That's the fastest I would like to go. And most of these, like that one country where they, they have super fast limits, I'm actually okay with that. Some people are going to be like, that's so dangerous and unsafe. Well, if it's, then don't go on it. Nobody's forcing you to go on it, you know? Um, so I would go with that. Um, with, with But I would go with 80 because, again, the United States, a lot of people live here, so it's not so easy to do that. And that's why usually when you see outside of the weird Texas one, that's why usually you'd see 80 or 85 um, or 75. It'll be in like rural states, especially like North Dakota. So um, that's when that's when you'd see it for that. But I would like 80 because on any high impact, you know, you just don't want to get in any high impact at all. And that yeah. 10 mi- then 10 miles from 70 to 80, that might save you a lot of time. So let me save some time. Let me go 80 miles an hour. Let's go. Yeah, but you know, you also got those people who, you know, don't pay attention to the speed limit whatsoever. And, and, oh, true. You know, Which is interesting so. because sometime I'll be home in Wisconsin and on that highway, it's it goes from 70. And once you get close to Milwaukee, it's 55. But the people go the same speed. So I'll be going like I'll I'll be in the 55 one. I'm going slower than everyone. Everyone's like speeding by going 15 over. And then once I get up oh, to yeah. 70, because, you know, I don't go exactly 70. I go a little bit over. I'm all of a sudden moving behind them. So, yeah, that's true, Jake. Maybe we're just nerds because I think some people just don't actually pay any attention to speed limits at all. Um, yeah, I'm going to say probably not. I I remember coming home on I-85 yesterday and, you know, somebody, you know, somebody passed me. I think they would do it. They must have been doing over over 100, maybe 105, so. 